welcome. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Thank you for being here as always and uh, for bearing with me throughout this time. And I know it's the tracks have taken, you know, a few days to finish. And uh, but here we are. We are celebrating by the end of the next two videos. We'll be celebrating. But this uh, next track by my two is called Maria and um, Brazilian Trap Lyrics. As always, he has dropped the lyrics for this one. And um, so let's just get on with it, shall we? We're going to bring the album to an end. And I think I've already made my feelings known, but let's just listen to the last three tracks and um, I can give a more coherent answer. And I don't know. Right, you wouldn't think I'm speaking English, would you? Yeah, all right, good. No more talking, my watching. So, okay, so he's climbing up the stairs, what it looks like to be heaven, I think. And Maria, obviously for Mary, the mother of Christ. Um, so is that who... I, let's, let's a poeira me obriga a ir. Eu só queria um tempo para poder ficar. A sua presença é o que me faz feliz. So let me just before we actually get a bit deeper, any deeper into the track, right? So this is again, I, I made this point before. Someone said, "Am I confusing the vocoder for auto tune?" At the beginning of this track, he uses a vocoder. A poeira me obriga a ir. Eu só queria um tempo. A coeria me obriga a ir. Eu só queria um tempo para poder ficar. A sua presença é o que me faz feliz. Antes eu achava normal ter que me maltratar. Like you, again, the thing is the thing, the, the way to to differentiate between the two. The vocoder will make the voice sound like it's got an effect on it. Like obviously, auto tune does that as well. But the vocoder, you can hear it. It sounds robotic, whereas the auto tune it is very subtle in the background literally doing what it was designed to do and that's to make artists hit certain notes that they couldn't hit uh normally so and obviously between like the mid sorry early 90s up until t-pain got involved um auto tune was just genuinely used to uh to to make sure that an artist hit certain notes and it didn't it didn't sound off and then afterwards it was it was used more artistically and more as an effect rather than um, a necessity. Eu só queria um tempo para poder ficar. A sua presença é o que me faz feliz. Antes eu achava normal ter que me maltratar. Sempre pondo a resposta em primeiro lugar. Era eu contra o mundo. E nada mais vai me parar. Me against the world. Shout out to Tupac. Primeiro lugar. Era eu contra o mundo. E nada mais vai me parar. É tanta coisa que eu prefiro nem conta. Esqueci tudo no segundo que ela veio me falar. Baby, fica agora. Eita na hora. Baby, fica agora, eita na hora Fica agora, fica, fica Baby, fica agora, eita na hora Such a nice beat as well, like it's a, that's what you call a beautiful beat Viajar com você é a minha terapia Em outra vida eu já te conhecia Traz a vibe santa, sua luz me radia Você é o sol me dizendo bom dia Quem dera eu achasse a harmonia O ritmo, a melodia certa pra acessar seu íntimo Você é o anjo na terra, me diz qual é seu signo So with this, with this track, is he, is he speaking about anyone in particular? Or is it just sort of like more of a feeling uh, rather than an actual person but I, d I don't know like is he is he married is he got a girlfriend I, it could be about her could be about him i don't know i'm sorry all right it's just we live in that sort of world where you kind of have to give all the options of for who people can date so, you know <laughs> Eu sou um homem que erra, será que eu sou digno? E ainda tô preso nessa correria Sempre que um dilema surge eu me pergunto o que é que você faria? Rainha da sabedoria 
Sem clarear minha noite me mostrar o caminho que so obviously eu from, não vi. Oh, from certain words it looked like um it, it sounds like sorry oh no come on where Oh I can't believe I've just done that That's just wrong that's just wrong that's just, whatever I've done here I'm so sorry guys um so yeah sorry just going back to it I think he was talking about um I think he is actually talking about Mary like you know the mother of Christ and um how she can save him sort of thing Viajar com você é a minha terapia Em outra vida eu já te conhecia Traveling with you so Traz again. a vibe santa sua It's about like the you know the symbols and the and like the, you know the, the the cross sort of thing or like you know maybe like a face card or something you can get those and you keep them with you and you know you're traveling with, Luz, with them. Jesus Mary what Você é o sol me dizendo bom dia. bom dia Quem dera eu achasse a harmonia o ritmo a melodia certa para acessar seu íntimo Você é um anjo na terra me diz qual é seu signo Sou só um homem que é a será que eu sou digno E ainda tô preso nessa correria Sempre que um dilema surge eu me pergunto o que é que você faria Rainha da sabedoria Vem clarear minha noite me mostrar o caminho que antes eu não via Clarear Hoje você tá me esperando aqui Por isso eu fico querendo voltar Baby, fica agora Baby, tá na hora Baby, fica agora but, this is what confuses me. It's because obviously he's saying baby stay now and obviously like, I've never heard anyone refer to Mother Mary as baby. So, you know, that's why I ask, you know, whether this is the song is about someone in, in particular. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, it's, I don't think this is anywhere near the better tracks on the album. I don't think so. Personally, anyway, I don't, yeah, not a big fan of this one. Um, yeah, it just seems a bit, a, a bit generic, like, okay, whether you're talking about Mother Mary or another woman in your life or whatever it, it didn't there wasn't anything sort of different in this track to make you think you know wow that was that was incredible you know the way that he built uh, he painted a story um in vida Vilao, i think he painted a better story um and that was a bit more on the graphic side of stories but in terms of this one particularly this could just be one of those tracks where it's like sort of dedicated to the higher spirit to the higher power which is fair enough you know it, everyone has their own beliefs so i'm not going to say it, but like i can't believe he's talking about this but me personally it's not a track that i would play again if um but when i'm listening to the album i wouldn't play this track again i don't think i don't think it matches the energy of uh, of the rest of the the song so far this this like out of all the tracks so far this has probably been the biggest drop off in my opinion, but you know, that's just me. That's just me. People may like this. People may, may, may love it because again, he's talking about the highest spirit and God and, and saviors and all that stuff, which is fair enough. You know, that's do you boo boo. <laughs> So live in the, so live in the now, obviously I know you meant, he mentioned earlier, it was like, oh, um, I've met you in another life. But, and then obviously at the end it's like oh we live in the now so enjoy the now that is pretty much the uh the moral of the story and um yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments like i said this this could be a track that people you know again i could be wildly wrong but then again it's an opinion so you can't really be wrong with an opinion it, i'm not stating a fact i'm not saying this is the worst in my opinion i think um it's a big drop off from the rest of the album so far um if the album was like 
you know, the nine, ten tracks that I've heard already, if they, if they were like this, then I probably would have stopped listening to it, to be honest with you. But uh, anyways, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments or on Instagram or wherever you find Parked Up. Anyway, just drop a message. I will read them eventually. I get notifications. So there you go. Right. And uh, stay safe. Stay alert.